Have you ever noticed how some people show up in our lives when we really need them? It feels like they're there to share a message or help us out. And have you ever felt like you've met someone before, even though you can't quite place it? In this video, we'll talk about the idea that people come into our lives for a reason, not just by chance. Before we get into it, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, and share the video. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on our latest videos and help us continue creating content for you. Once, while the elderly monk Hotaka meditated beneath a blossoming cherry tree, a young man named Hiroshi approached. Hiroshi inquired respectfully, Master, at times I meet people and sense a positive connection, as if I've known them or as if they have a special affinity with my soul. Conversely, there are occasions when I feel a negative sensation, as if they've come to harm me. Do people come into our lives by chance, Master? Hotaka, fixating his piercing gaze on the young man, responded, People never enter our lives randomly, and this truth runs deeper than we realize. In life, we encounter various individuals, each with a distinct place and role in our narrative. Some come and go fleetingly, while others stay and accompany us through different life stages. Rising slowly, Hotaka pointed to the blue sky, saying, Consider the birds, young friend. They do not fly by chance. They are carried by the currents of the air, just as we are carried by the invisible forces of existence. Hiroshi contemplated the birds flying across the sky, trying to grasp the depth of the wise master's words. Imagine your life as a garden, Hotaka added. Every person who crosses your path is like a seed planted by destiny. Some grow like colorful flowers that last a season, others like mighty trees that endure over the years, but each brings with it the promise of new growth. Hiroshi nodded reflecting on the various flowers and trees he had seen blooming along the path of his life. Hotaka continued, The people who hurt us are often our best teachers. They are sharp stones on our path, and despite the pain, they teach us to grow and find our inner strength. Hotaka wisely said that some people stay with us forever, like fixed stars in the sky. They're true friends or family who share our joys and burdens. Hiroshi felt grateful for the special people in his life. Hotaka stressed the importance of appreciating everyone we meet. He divided people into three types. Those who push us to grow, those who bring a sense of renewal, and those who encourage us to keep going. In the following years, Hiroshi continued to follow the path Hotaka showed him. Every encounter, whether short or long, became a precious part of his life. Hiroshi learned that each person and experience brought a hidden gift, contributing to his growth and happiness. As Hiroshi became wiser, he shared Hotaka's truth. Life is a continuous flow of meaningful encounters, making our lives unique. The lesson is that every encounter, no matter how short, adds something valuable to our lives. Life is a journey of discovery, and each person brings a unique gift. People may die, leave for unknown reasons, or behave poorly, compelling us to make decisions and walk away. It's crucial to understand that their role is fulfilled because one of our needs or desires has been satisfied. In tough times, the universe sends people to give us courage and support, helping us keep going in the dance of life. Hiroshi's advice was to treat every encounter like a musical note, listening to the melody created by the people who cross our path. Finding beauty in human connections, whether through love, friendship, or brief meetings, can change us forever. Enjoying our content? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more. Your support means a lot to us. Hit the subscribe button and stay connected for exciting updates. See you in the next video.